So, I'm at my local liquor store. I got some cash. I'm gonna buy some liquor. I'm walking past the red section. You know what the red section is? Campari, Aperol, Capoletti, that sort of thing. So I'm passing by the red section, and I do a double take because I see a sexy bottle. Sexy bottle is, it doesn't matter what's in it, but if it's red, I ended up buying Bonanto. I'm the controller of Planet X. And it's a wine-based aperitif. And usually when you see something this color, you're thinking Italy, and it says BCM, Barcelona. So when it comes from a city that is known for its vermouth, and they're coming out with an aperitivo, I'm buying it. Buying it. And I'm gonna like it, probably. The bottle is sexy, like I said, it's beautiful. Almost looks like one of those crystal carafes that you would put uh, whiskey or bourbon in. Looks like the drink is elevated, I love that. It has the very beautiful red tone up against this nice teal Tiffany blue. I thought that's a really old school throwback, these two color combinations. Design here of flowers since 2017, so it's not old, this is gonna be a new aperitif. Then if you look on the other side, it's gonna have a little bit of information here. You are holding a bottle of Bonanto, a cutting edge aperitif. The vision of a passionate, creative, and talented team. I think your mom wrote that, didn't it, talented team? Your mom wrote that, maybe. Uh, so it says it was created by three dudes here. Uh, one, a mixologist, the other a sommelier, and then the third, another mixologist. It says, fresh Mediterranean aromas with a spicy and fruity background, rounded with a citrusy and subtle bitter finish. So I'm ready to try it. I already did last night, but we're gonna fake it. And I'm gonna say, I mean, look, look, I drank almost half the bottle last night. All right, someone call somebody, please. All right, so I got it. Uh, over ice, you wanna put 90 milliliter. That's gonna be three ounces over two or three ice cubes. I put a twist of orange in there. Cheers. I love it. It's got a nice citrus finish, just like the bottle says, and it's lighter than Campari. It's not gonna be as bitter as Campari. Uh, so this would make a fantastic spritz, if you ask me, with Prosecco or Cava. The sweetness, it's just about right. It's not gonna be overpowering in its sweetness, uh, but it is on the sweeter side. They're talking about 30 different botanicals inside this aperitif. The main one being wormwood, so that's probably the bittering agent, but I'm also getting Lots of thyme, I'm getting some sage and rosemary, I'm getting a little bit of mint, but especially I'm getting apple and sour cherry. And I really, really like this. Thank you, Bodanto. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. What was the other thing that we were gonna do? Bottle. Bitterness, sweetness. Bitterness, sweetness. All right, bottle, I'm giving five out of five. Beautiful bottle. Label, four out of five. Bitterness, 2.5 out of five. I'm just throwing numbers out right now. Color, five out of five. It's got a nice hue, not as dark as Campari. I wonder, please contact me, Bonanto team. Is it natural coloring or is it artificial coloring? Let me know. Sweetness. Three out of five. Herbaceousness, five out of five. Overall, 4.5 out of five. Thanks for watching.